Greetings, welcome back to the shop. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, just thought I'd give you a quick tip here. It's a vehicle that I've had in for a couple days chasing this memory steer issue. Super common with these uh, super duties. Super common super duty issue. Uh, but uh, anyway, some of the things you look for are replacement ball joints being improperly torqued. That kind of creates a, a, a weird spot in the steering and just kind of a memory deal where you you turn and it really doesn't want to come back to center and that's exactly the symptom that that was occurring here uh, and one of the things you do is disassemble the front end and uh, actually check the torque necessary to turn the front wheels which we did and found that it was basically normal and uh, we also replaced the steering stabilizer um, it was leaking and you know just part of the diagnostic work uh, we went ahead and did that but Still same problem and uh, aligned the front end, found the caster camber angles were good. So basically that brought us down to steering gear. And uh, another common issue uh, with almost the exact same symptom is a steering gear with, you know, kind of the improper uh, preload or gear lash setting on the box causing kind of a binding issue. And uh, we found it common on these remands and actually the, the gear that we pulled out did have a reman sticker on it. It's a new to this customer truck, so uh, uh, we didn't really know the history on it and what had happened, but uh, anyway, thought that uh, I would throw that out there just as future reference for these issues since we see it quite often. So uh, look at look at the uh, look at the box. Look at the ball joints. It shouldn't require more than 100 foot pounds torque to turn the wheel with all the steering linkage disconnected uh, and the weight of the vehicle on it. And then uh, if you have it on you, like your rotator plates on the alignment rack, which we did. And then, like I said, check that steering stabilizer. It's another possible cause of binding, along with improper camber measurements or caster actually can cause that but uh hey hope this tip was helpful i appreciate you stopping by just want to throw a quick vid out there and uh we will get a few more vids posted as soon as i get time to edit them uh, i've got got a few in the can but uh i got to get off my can to make it happen all right have a good one take care